All right. So it is March the 17th. Um, it's almost five o'clock in the evening. It's still pretty sunny out. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but I feel like maybe doing a, a video a day, it's like a video a day sort of thing might be smart with what's going on with this coronavirus stuff. Um, it kind of seemed like a joke at first, right? Like, I, like everybody was overreacting, but today is the first day of the, the schools being closed for the next two weeks. So it's March 17th, it's Tuesday, and I don't know why they had the kids go to school yesterday. It didn't seem very smart, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, and they also shut down all the bars and restaurants starting today. Um, and it's all just supposed to go until March 30th, but then there were some, like, news conferences earlier today, and they were saying that this might stretch out uh, for months. They said it could be eight weeks. Uh, they said it could be July. They said it could be August. Um, I don't know. All of a sudden it seems a lot more serious. Um, God, I mean, think about it. Like two months ago, we hadn't even really heard of this yet. So according to the, what is this, World, Worldometer, Worldometer, um, that info, so it says that their update number is the coronavirus cases, uh, you know, this is the COVID-19 coronavirus. It's not one of the lesser ones from before. Um, <laughs> as if any of us even knew that, like three months ago, like average person, I mean. Um, anywho, <clears throat> so, so far there's been 197,766 cases in the past two months. Um... Almost 8,000 people have died. 7,954 people have died so far. But 81,691 have recovered, so that's something. Um, we had our first death from COVID-19 in Illinois today. And, uh, yeah, they didn't disclose what her um, underlying illness was, but they did mention that she had an underlying illness. Uh, they did say that she was only 60 and that she'd only been diagnosed in the beginning of the month. So I don't know. I don't know if she was diagnosed late into having it. I mean, although really it only goes back two months, right? Um, but I mean, the beginning of the month was two weeks ago. So it's pretty crazy. It's supposed to have the meeting with the IRS tomorrow uh, downtown about my, my identity getting stolen and not getting my return last year, and I, I don't think I want to go. Um, I'm supposed to finally get to meet with my team of endocrinologists on Friday. I've been waiting three months for that appointment, and I don't really want to go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it says there's... 108,121 currently infected patients. They said there's going to be a lot more in the days to come because we're just starting to get tests and stuff out now. And labs are just getting approved now to make them independently that weren't approved before. Um, I feel like I've become more informed in the past two days than in the past two months. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot going on. Um... There's just so much. Yeah, so they say that the U.S. is about 10 or so days, 10 or 11 days behind Italy um, with how it's spread there. Uh, so in Italy, well, starting in China, right, because starting in China, China now has 80,881 cases. Um, and they've had 3,226 deaths. Italy, uh, second most cases, they have 31,506 cases, and they've had 2,503 deaths. Uh, then in Iran, Spain, Germany, South Korea, France, and then us. <clears throat> this is our total cases are 6,211, and uh, we're told deaths so far are 102. I think I just heard on one of the news conferences, because apparently I get to watch those like 90 times a day now. 
Um, I think the number's higher than that now. And because the healthcare system is overwhelmed in Italy, uh, they're saying that they're having to make choices, like with their people, um, their citizens who are over 80. And they're just not treating them because they can't treat everyone. So they're just letting people die. I don't know. It sounds like a nightmare. It doesn't really sound real. Um, it still doesn't feel real. There's still a lot of people that are kind of like out and about. Um, I had to go pick up a chair frame from my grandma today and she put it, uh, I told her just put it on the porch and I'd grab it, but she, she put it off the porch and all the way down by where the car gets pulled in. And I sprayed everything with Lysol anyways, even though it was outside and on the porch. But, uh, yeah, we just talked from the window and the porch. Um, she was like in the window porch area and I was all the way down by the car. Oh, cause it's scary. I'm so scared for her and my grandpa. Cause they keep saying people over 60, people over 60. My grandpa's 85, my grandma's 84, like I'm terrified right now. I don't even want them to go to their doctor's appointments. I don't know what's going to happen. But, I don't know, I feel like today is maybe the day I'm finally realizing how serious this might be. I don't really know what to do with that. I just... Everybody was making jokes and all of a sudden it's, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'll check in tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, uh, <clears throat> you're supposed to if you think you have symptoms, you're supposed to quarantine yourself unless you can't get your fever down or you really can't breathe. So they're saying that it um is fever, chills, and uh, like a fever that won't break. And there's mild cases of it where you can quarantine yourself 14 days and you won't be infectious to others and you're also, you know, you'll just get better. Um, there's really severe cases that are killing people. Uh, it tends to be older people or people with underlying illnesses. Uh, God, now I, I'm like spacing out. Um, it's just a lot, right? Like, it, it feels like a lot. It is a lot. That's fair. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, blood in your uh, phlegm, uh, sore throat. Uh, there's like a whole list of stuff. Yeah, and so then, you know, like every year when the weather change happens twice a year I get like sick for like a month and I'm spitting up green stuff and there's like weird spots in the back of my throat and I I'm always pretty sure I'm dying because it just feels like it but I get to lose weight twice a year so that's the fun part um yeah like I can't keep anything down and I just I get really sick but this morning I woke up I still feel like there's like a ball in my my throat right now and I've been coughing all day and this morning there was a bunch of blood in my sound so I was like oh Damn it. But I'm sure that's just, you know, being ridiculous. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Just got to keep an eye on stuff and stay inside. And it could be a lot worse. It could be, it could be so much worse. Um, yeah. David's still going to work because he's still working right now. Um, but he already seems kind of antsy with us, with us just being around all the time and kind of just, just been angry. Like he yelled at me in the middle of Mariano's yesterday and that was embarrassing. But I just, anger is a secondary emotion, right? So I just, I didn't freak out. I just didn't talk. Um, I mean, like at first I was like, seriously, like, but then I just didn't talk for a while until after we left the store and after we were in the car for a while and I just... Let him work through his thing, because uh, we all handle stuff differently, right? And it's not going to help if I just yell back. Um, it's pretty much that only negative stuff. I mean, for months now, that's just something going on with him. But 
it feels worse in this where I really, really need to focus on positive stuff in addition to everything else I'm going through and whatever. Um, but I was telling him and Blue a little bit ago, like, just, you just gotta be kind to each other. You don't know how long this might last, and I, I really think kindness is a, it's gonna be a pretty vital part getting through this. So yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's it for right now. Um, I'm gonna go back to working on the house. I Man, I'm glad we have social media as much as we've all talked about how it's like ruining the fabric of society or people have talked about that or whatever. I think it's really nice how well informed we can stay. Because right, we gotta come up with something full here and some positives. I think it's really good how people can communicate with one another. We can see what other countries have gone through and, and we can learn from them, we can listen. We can choose to listen. Um, can choose to learn from the mistakes of others. We're lucky that we weren't one of the first places to get it. I think we're lucky that we've, we've had the freedoms we've had to try to get our stuff together while understanding-ish what was coming, what's coming, what is here. <clears throat> I don't know, it's really weird. It's, everything is just really weird. And it's kind of annoying. People keep making stuff really political and I I really think this is an inappropriate time for all the, the divisive nonsense that I don't know, kind of makes up everything right now. I asked my brother how he was doing the other day when I heard about the restaurants and bars. He said hopefully he'd know more on Tuesday. I asked him how he was doing. He just never replied. So I tried again the next day, but he still didn't reply. Uh, my dad never really talks to me, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, they're talking about packages and benefits and stuff from the government to help people out because they don't know how long it'll be before people are allowed to return to work. Oh, also, people can still get delivery and takeout, which I don't think makes any sense because if they're saying that younger people who have those sort of food service industry jobs can be carriers um, and not show any symptoms for days into being uh, infected and they're working with food and then this is a highly contagious virus where things can be in the air and they can last on surfaces up to what, what they say like six hours or something. Yeah, I'm like selling the shit out of everything but thankfully I have always overwashed my hands. Um, so that picture from 2004 when I used to spray tan, I am orange and my hands are white. So I don't know why no one bothered to tell me that, but whatever. And um, and I, and I, I guess all the stores are out of Lysol and stuff, but I I have like three cans, I think the big ones, because OCD. Um, we are going to be out of toilet paper relatively soon because we didn't expect the world to go crazy and buy all the toilet paper when all the advice was wash your hands, so whatever. Um, luckily I've been working on the renovation, so I've been working from from home, you know, for like the past six months, so I guess I'll just keep doing that. Maybe with Blue here I'll, I'll get a lot more done, maybe she'll help me out. You know, uh, help is a relative word. Um, just really glad she's here with me. I feel feel better with her with me. That's good. Love her so much. I know she'll be fine. She's a healthy, healthy freaking kid. Just hope we all get through this and learn from it. People can just be just be kind to each other. Just, I feel like everybody always says that. So few people actually do it.
especially now, right? Like, especially now when it's going to be hardest. It didn't seem very easy for a lot of people and it was like easy. Now it's going to be hard and it's going to be imperative. So, all right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today. It is beautiful and sunny though.